Hello and welcome back to Friends Garage. If you're new to this channel, welcome in. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Now we're doing daily races in race A. And like I said on the previous video, this is with the same vehicles that I used, but with the faster tune or faster setup. Now, if you thought that the last video was a bit crazy, well, you haven't seen nothing, okay? Because this one is even crazier, okay? This is more chaotic than the previous video that I put up. So, here we go with the Ferrari. And uh, uh, this is, like I said, faster setup. So, the car is... I'm going to be passing people quicker than on the previous video. Automatically, I already took one car and that Ford got kicked out of the way and this Honda parked it in the edge of the road and I just keep going I'm like forget this I'm not gonna bother so here we go to the uh, next part when I'm actually gonna pass uh, the Delta that's in front of me with uh, Delta with blue rims not bad Actually looks good. So okay, got him out of the way. Now this truck that's in front of me, that's the one that you gotta be on the lookout for. He's gonna be causing a lot of trouble. So right there, I'm past him, right? <laughs> Not so sure about that, because I just got pushed real hard by him. He passes me. I almost lose control of my car right there, trying to get it back on on the position that it needs to go on. Here's the replay of that. You see right there, he just pushed me. And yeah, that's not all of it yet. There's more to this. This more. Let's uh, keep going forward on this so you can see all the crap that I gotta deal with with this guy. So, right here, I make another attempt to go around him. Check this out. Boom! Against the wall. Here's the replay of that. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff that we good drivers got to deal with on a daily basis when we're trying to actually get some good fun races. But um, it's just difficult when you got to deal with people like this. And here I just give him the switcheroo. It never fails. It never fails. He took himself out. You can see it right here on the replay. Yep, he goes off the track, obviously loses speed by, by doing that, so he was never able to catch up to me again. Now we're going to fast forward up to the next part where I'm going to catch up to the Honda Civic Type R that is uh, in front of me. But right here I was able to get him. And keep on going and that's it for this race um, I did manage to put down the fastest lap uh, on this race but I was never able to catch the Toyota Yaris that, that was up front um, rocket 250 so that that player was pretty quick on that Yaris and I, I did see him in a few races uh, while I was playing and he's pretty quick so for me to put a faster lap than him on that Yaris after him winning, like I think he won like about three races in a row. So, you know, seeing that I can put a faster lap than him and be able to catch up, well, not really catch up, but uh, be quicker than him on every lap that passes by, that tells you that your setup is good, okay? 
So let's go to the next race. Okay, so now we're back on the Nissan Skyline. And also, it is tuned uh, to go faster. So you're gonna see how quick this thing is on, on this time around. And this race is gonna be crazier than the previous race, okay? So let's get down to it. Um, this little car, this little red car, I can't, from my viewing angle, I can't see um, what it is, but it is tiny. And for some reason, he goes left and disappears on my screen completely. That's, <laughs> I, I find that really funny. Um, and then this dude in the Mustang just can't get the car to stay on all four wheels taking a turn and for some reason right there he let go of the gas I had to immediately uh, move over and then he cuts the grass for some reason and he gets a penalty right on and then that's when he just forgets to turn right and here we go, fast forwarding to the point where this Honda just loses control all the way. And this dude pressed the brakes so hard, he disappears out of my screen. And again, fast forwarding. Now this Toyota Supra in front of me, uh, this player for some reason did not want me to pass him at all he had a lot of room on the inside and he decided to just get in front of me I mean get uh, on my side and push me over and basically make me lose all the momentum that I had coming out of the corner but I get my payback clean payback by the way because I didn't even touch him I'm right there side by side with him and that is a proper pass in a race anyways now back uh, to reach this uh, Ford F-150 uh, this is the Raptor and uh, this guy I would say he was battling his own truck instead of battling the other players because in the corners he was drifting you can see right now he that back end of the truck just wants to go sideways look at that and this uh dude on the honda civic is uh trying to keep up then I think he just didn't see me there. I don't blame him for that. Um, I'm pretty sure he was just trying to get a good spot, but both of them cut the track and they both get a penalty. Um, so yeah, he goes drifting wide. That shows you right there that drifting is not the fastest way around the corner. And uh, right here you can see how much quicker my car is versus this Honda Civic because on that straight right there I was able to catch up to him real quick and just make the pass before we start lap 4 so now we're gonna fast forward and meet up with the same guy from the previous race his name is Truckload1 this guy has something against me because since the last race he's not wanting me to get past him at all this dude right here and he must love that Toyota Tundra but anyways I'm trying to get past him and then this happens yeah yep 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 
dealing with the same crap as before so we're going to fast forward to the next corner right here he parks it right at the inside of the corner I had to immediately bolt out to the left so I could miss him but I was pretty much tired of his uh, game and I said well when a bully appears the only way to get rid of a bully is to become the bully so I'm gonna be the bully now and I'm gonna force him to go fast fast as my car can go so I'm gonna be pushing him like I am now I want him to go fast if he doesn't want me to get around him he needs to go fast so show me what you got truckload one Yeah, I'm not going to play for that again. No way. Nah. Come on. You can go faster than that. You can go faster than that. Come on. Yeah. So right here at this corner, I am going to do what he likes to do. So, you know, just giving him a little bit of his own medicine, even though he probably is enjoying this right now. But in my point of view, I'm just trying to get rid of him. And right here, he just couldn't get in front of me. So I stay beside him. He's pushing me to the grass and I'm pushing him over. But my car is quicker. He's got a big fat truck. While I got a Nissan Skyline that's gonna definitely get past him. So right here, he thought he could just ram me, but the system, the game, goes to him and into the shadow realm. Oh yeah. So that's the end of this race, because um, this is actually the final lap of this race, and I take the win. So now it's time to get over to the last race which also has its own chaotic scene on the last lap spoiler alert i'll see you on the next race okay so now we're we're on the Renault clio rs and this one is also tuned to go even quicker than before so this one is actually going to be a pretty chaotic race uh, including that I actually make two mistakes in this race you see the guy in front of me that Ferrari he's actually one good driver right there uh, the guy in front of him in the, the blue Sylvia basically parked it on the corner that's why he hit the Sylvia and I was able to pass him on the outside so we need a Fast forward into the next to the uh, chicane because what happens here it's nuts. Everybody goes everywhere, literally. You see drivers going completely off track, and then this guy in the uh, white Toyota uh, decides, you know what, I'm gonna push you out. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm just gonna run away from you. I don't want to be beside you. Yeah, that was that was crazy. So fast forward to the uh, to this straight right here. This uh, I believe the way to pronounce the name of that Volkswagen is uh, Scirocco. I could be wrong, uh, but this guy, uh, yeah, you you need to practice on your driving, man. <clears throat> Anyways, you get around him, and this dude in the purple, what is that car? I just forgot, it's a purple Clio V6. You need, uh, to, you need to realize I'm right there, man. <laughs> don't, don't push me off track. Anyways, at this point, uh, we're just gonna keep on going. Uh, basically, the guy in the Ferrari and I 
we stay together almost the entire race. Um, my car was just slightly quicker than the Ferrari, just slightly quicker. I was able to catch up to him on the straights, um, which is kind of odd being that, you know, it's a Ferrari, normally it goes quicker. But, you know, I guess my tuning was just a little bit more horsepower than, than the Ferrari. So right here, I'm making an attempt to pass him. And I am able to complete this pass. Yep. The one thing about this car, since it's uh, front wheel drive, you get a lot of understeer. So you gotta go a little easier on the throttle getting out of the corners. Cause this, this is my first mistake right here. I go a little too wide and I'm about to get a penalty. This uh, dude in the yellow got taken out by the leader. I, I believe that's what happened. And there's my penalty right there for going off track. My fault was that I accelerated too early coming out of the corner. And that's why I, I got the penalty. I, I, I took myself off the track a little bit. So right here I'm making another attempt to get past this guy. <laughs> He's, this time he's actually trying to defend, but I, I was able to keep the, the speed even though I was uh, off the draft. But um, yeah, now I'm about to make another mistake right here. Coming out of this corner, I accelerated too early, get, I went off track, I complete this penalty and then I got another penalty right there. And again, the Ferrari gets past me because the Ferrari is actually better uh, than me on the corners. And now we're back on lap five. He did get a penalty. I don't know if you did. I don't know if you noticed, but he did get a penalty for going off the track coming out of turn one on the beginning of lap five. So right here, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna fast forward it anymore because this is the last lap okay this is where it gets crazy so it's very tense it's us four cars fighting for first place so to start off the Supra right here did it not take that corner right and then uh, the Ferrari goes to the left Mazda or the yeah the Mazda just comes out of nowhere hits me and then takes out the Ferrari the Supra behind me gives me one hell of a push and I was able to keep up with the Mazda and right here I'm flashing my headlights to the Mazda because I don't know what the heck happened and yeah so I will be putting the replay of that after I get past this Mazda uh, because that was just nuts I get past the Mazda and I take the car for the win so yeah that that was insane that was insane um, I immediately went from from fourth to first in half a lap you don't get that a lot you don't get that often anyways let me put the replay so you guys can see uh, what happened in full view okay so here we go Okay, so I decided to put the, the replay from a little bit farther back. So here you can see that uh, Supra is uh, falling back. Ferrari goes out wide. The Mazda pushes the Ferrari out. And then, yeah, look at this. I get that hell of a push from the Toyota Supra. And I'm flashing my headlights right here to this guy because I'm like, dude, what the heck was that? All of this just because you want to finish first. Well, it turns out you don't have a fast enough car. And you need to increase your skills on driving, man. Because I'm in the front wheel drive and I was able to pass you and beat you to the finish line. So, yeah. Most of the time, 
a rear wheel drive is gonna defeat a front wheel drive because the rear wheel drive car has better uh, cornering abilities than a front wheel drive. So I was able to keep uh, the line to to finish first. He pushes me there because obviously he's, he's gonna get closer to me because of his ability to turn better. But yeah, I take the win. Look at that. Well, that's it for now. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and um, I will keep up with more videos in the future, coming week. Um, but for now, I wish you guys a good weekend. Uh, stay safe, stay uh, greasy if you're a mechanic. And I'll see you on the next race.